beautiful people. I'm Jen Nelson with Green Max Gold and I have here with me, I'm so excited, my dear friend from Guild Mortgage, one of the best loan officer in town, Jeremiah Eck. That's me with Guild Mortgage. Tell us something about <laughs> yourself. Yeah, so my name is Jeremy Eck. I'm a loan officer here at Guild. Um, I grew up in the Reno Sparks community, so I have a really deep passion for helping everyone in our area. I'm excited. <laughs> First one, what type of loans are there and do you offer all of those? We offer them all. Um, so there's conventional, VA, FHA, USDA, and Jumbo. Um, the first four that I mentioned are usually the most common. Um, jumbo loans are a little bit more specific on what we need to do. Um, Guild Mortgage has our own jumbo program that we've rolled out. Um, so we're, just, we're working on that one and then um, the other four are the, the ones that everyone kind of uses. How do we qualify? Well, if you're a VA loan, obviously you need to be a veteran. Um, the minimum credit scores for VA, FHA, and USDA right now, as of just about maybe a month ago, are 580. So you need a 580 credit score. So a lot of people like prior to COVID, because or scores went up for the minimums, uh, might feel like they couldn't qualify, but now you can. Um, if you are at a 540 or a 580 below, then you have to do 10% down, but you can still qualify, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then conventional loans are a 620. Wow. Um, jumbo loans are anywhere from a 680 to a 720. So those are the minimum scores um, right now that you need to kind of qualify for, which is pretty good. Okay, that's good. Are there income requirements? So if you're at a conventional loan or an FHA or a VA or USDA, um, we usually tell everyone to have at least double the mortgage payment as their gross monthly income. So if your mortgage payment's $1,000 a month, we want you to make 2,000, depending that you have no other debt. Um, the more debt you have, like credit card payments or auto loans or something like that, means that you need more income to qualify, um, but most of the time it's just double the mortgage payment. Okay. It's pretty easy. So for any loan, whether it's Jumbo or all the others, we have to prove that you've worked two years steadily at some point in your life. So it doesn't mean that you have to be on your new job for two years or six months or a month or anything like that. But depending on the loan we go with, we may need a month of pay stubs. As long as we can verify like her income and what her you know, title's gonna be and how much money she's gonna make, um, we should be good to go. That's good. What's the minimum down payment? Oh, such a good question. So if you're on a VA or USDA loan, there's zero dollars down. Yay! Um, but if you're <laughs> at a conventional loan or an FHA or Jumbo, they're all a little bit different. So if you haven't owned any property in the last three years, conventional loans will allow you to put down just as little as 3%, mm. um, which is crazy. Yeah. FHA is three and a half always 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 um and then jumbo loans are anywhere from like 10 to 20 percent for example if you have like 10 credit cards and you want to close it because you're not using it but you don't have any debt on it will that affect my credit score yes so that's gonna hurt your credit score because then you lose all the credit history from that account um, and it's all based on the algorithm. And you were saying um, you need to have $10? $10. In your credit card? Yeah. Debt. Yeah, so like the magic number I've kind of seen is like, if you have $0 on all of your credit cards, you might not have the highest credit score, which sounds crazy. So maybe you need to put like $10 on your credit card and then your score is gonna go up a couple points. So I always tell all my clients, don't pay them to zero, pay them to $10. What is your average loan processing time? About 30 days. So if you can get in the contract, we can usually get the appraisal done and the inspections done and underwriting done mm -hmm. within 30 days. What takes most of that time? time? And most of the loan processing, like actually underwriting the loan and getting all the documents, only takes a week or two. So we're really just waiting on. It's mostly the appraisal mostly that takes appraisal. time. Yeah. yeah. We had one client that received a, a gift as a down payment. 
if you're gonna get a gift from family or an employer, or like somebody is mm -hmm. gonna gift you money for your down payment and closing costs, there's a gift letter that the donor has to fill out. And depending on which loan, like VA and FHA loans want a bank statement from the donor, conventional loans don't. Um, we have to get the bank statement, the gift letter, and then whatever means of delivery. So if, if the, the funds are gifted in a check, then we have to get a copy of the check. Mm -hmm. If they're gifted through a wire, then we have to get a wire. And then the updated statement from the borrower showing that they have the funds in their account. Um, but make sure all the names match. So yes. <laughs> if you're the one buying the house, the check has to be written out to you. Also, if you're pulling money from 401k down payment, do it. About two weeks before we close. Mm -hmm. it takes a while. We know like how much the closing costs are going to be, which we know up front. Um, we can usually have you reach out to your 401k or IRA or whatever kind mm -hmm. of retirement account you have um, and get the terms of withdrawal. So maybe there's like a, a like a hardship withdrawal you have to take. Some of them have like loans for like buying a home that you can take out. Um, and usually we do that about a week or two before closing. Yeah, that'd be good because yeah. you don't want to delay or no. move the closing because you can't pull it out quicker than you think. Just seek advice, okay? Professional advice yeah. from your lender and your realtors. So if you have any questions about home buying or refinancing, we can do another video like this for you guys, for all your questions. So hit us up. Jeremiah with Guild Morgan. Jen Nelson with Remax Gold. And see you again next time. Ta-ta.